All right, welcome back to another Whale Wars. I am in the same outfit as the previous Whale Wars, and you know what? I'm gonna be in the same outfit as the next Whale Wars, right? Pre-recording a bunch of them, I'm not home. If there's any battle line news the same day that a video like this goes live, I'll have a community post up or something like that. And I'm saying this in advance because I don't know what Toho's gonna do, but I'm filling up your feed with Whale Wars for the weekend because, I, I listen, that's what I got. That's what I got for you. So today, we got some battles featuring me and me. All right, so we are gonna take a look at both of those. So let's get battle one going right here. So this is battle one from my perspective. We're going up against me. I'm using a Space Godzilla leader. I kind of like Space Godzilla leader. I think he has potential, but I think it could be um could be better. Could be a lot better. So we're going up. We got Hedera on Hedera. My Hedera I think is gonna evolve before I before he dies to this uh, Ghidorah. I don't remember though. Kamak was there to distract the Ghidorah. Didn't matter because we still got Hedera. So I'm going to drop Hedera down. And then I got some decent units here. I got Godzilla for good anti-air and tankage. And then I got Angiris and I got Gigan. I also got Batra too. And he's hit me with that damage boost here. Try to get some early kills off of me to get in, uh, get some damage off. But there goes Ghidorah. And look at that. Manila is chilling. Manila took a lot of damage from the Hedera, from the from the AoE. So there goes Manila. My Godzilla is going off and just destroying buildings, but I put Angiris there with him to keep that on lock. And then look at that. Knee has Biolante. We all know what that means. So Biolante moving up. But there's another Hedera. Perfect because all my units are condensed, but my Batra is about to evolve. Hedera right there attacked. Uh, Knee's a Hedera attack, but nothing really happened. My Hedera just died there to get that acid pull out. Look at this. Dimension Tide. Don't know why I did it, but I did it. And then Knee reacts with the Psychic Chorus. I have a G89 for 5 cost now, which is huge. I'm going to drop maybe this Hedera for some AoE. Batra over there for that boost. Hit the leader, and I hit my uh, Hedera. So now his Hedera is going to die. My Hedera will live, but I'm going to be hit with the uh, Poison debuff, which is not great. But only on my Bailante, though. Or... Batra, so that's really good. G89, when is G89 coming? Who knows? There's the Earth Explosion. All of my guys die. Board is clear. AoEs are down. Energy refresh time. Let's see what happens. Everyone is cooking up. Everyone is cooking up. I got no anti-air right now. No anti-air in my hand. There's my G89. There's my Hedera. Oh, there, there, I guess Hedera dropped down too. Okay, so there's Hedera. There's G89. Batra in the middle. I think I tried to buff both of them, but I could only end up buffing the one. So they're, you know, G89 is tanking away, and it gave me enough time to hit the remaining three guys with my Batra and my Hedera combo. There is Gigan on the far left, so let's see how he dealt with this. My Batra is going to do some decent damage, but Batra is going to die pretty quickly. Gigan's coming in, grab the leader, pushes Biolante out of the way for out of the way for some quick leader damage, and takes the AO the aggro from my from my. Um, Batra, my Kermakaris moved in and took the, 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 the aggro as well. My Batra is dead. It doesn't matter because my Hedera is there locking W's from afar, baby. So that's how you do it. So not a lot of DPS on my team, but a lot of distractions so that I can get in the dubs where possible. So that was the first battle. Let's take a look at the second battle now. The second battle is on London, and as we saw before, Knee has Bailante. I already know how this battle is going to go because I, uh, I, I I lived it. I played it. So let's see. So he's got King Ghidorah. I have my Hedera. Uh, I'm pretty sure Hedera will evolve. I miss the Dimension Tide because I'm a genius. And he's going in for the damage boost to kill my pre-evo, and he succeeds. But... His damage buff is now on cooldown, so I do not have to worry about that for a little while, which is good. So I can hit him with my leader a little bit. He's got the Psychic Chorus. He thinks he has me here. I got the damage boost on these two goons, and we're going to make quick work of that Ghidorah. So I take a lot of leader damage here, but Ghidorah is dead. I got 1954 on the field, and I got, Bi or, I was going to say Bailanta. I got Batra down, and Batra's probably going to evolve, right? I do not foresee him... Uh, come in here and snag in that kill i have not maybe the best position for a bailante and a hetera and gears and g54 like up each other's ass but we will live i have gigan coming up as well and i have batra for the boost there's batra on the gigan boost 
So that's going to be good because he's going to come in and stun the tanks, which I didn't even realize he had. I don't think he plays the tanks at all the last game. He probably changed up his deck a little bit. Violante has evolved. Header is dead and all my guys are soaked in the acid. I'm going to get some good leader damage off of here. My Angiris is going to be taking the aggro for my Batra for a little while. So I'll get some good damage there. And then there is Ghidorah. Now Ghidorah, Bailante coming up on me, not amazing. I have my G89, I have my Hedera. How do I respond? G89 to take the aggro from both of them and leave Hedera just out of range of the Bailante, right? Not out of range of the Ghidorah, but Ghidorah was in range of Bailante and, or Hedera and my Space Godzilla. Space Godzilla was able to hit him. Hedera was able to hit him. It was enough to take him down and I suffered minimal, minimal losses. Just a little bit of splash, so. Board reset, energy is being filled up. Let's see how it plays out. And Gears in the water, slow moving, gonna let me build up a push around him, right? Burning Godzilla over there. Burning Godzilla's gonna let him put a push around burning. There's his Hedera. Here's my Gigan. My Hedera is on deck as well. Put him on land. So they'll be distracted by the Angiris. I drop Batra on these two over here, and I'm going to be able to pull up on their Hedera, take that aggro over there, She's going to be able to do some splash damage, right? But look how my crew is positioned. Kills the Hedera. Kills the Ghidorah. Look at this. Angiris is down. My Kamakris are on this burning. But Batra is there as well. Burning explodes, killing my Kamakris. But Batra and Hedera are still here, right? And they're putting in that leader damage that worked. That splash damage is hitting the Bailante. I'm in a good spot right now. Batra is doing the Lord's work over here. Just drilling away at the enemy leader, and we did huge damage. So once again, we have a Gigan stunning the bat, the Biolante. So many bees. Batra dropping down with the boost to kill the Biolante. Right now we have another fight over here. They're aggroed onto the Gigan, so they're looking in the opposite direction. But I got a Batra boosted G54 on the field, which for crazy damage output. Right, we're gonna kill this burning right here. He's probably gonna kill both of our guys. He misses actually. And we kill the Hedera, but the Acid Pool is going to kill our two guys right over here. That's fine. Board reset. Hedera on the field and Gigan coming in with G89 coming up on the right. That is a lot to deal with. And Batra boost all of them. So four characters with Batra boost. Gigan pushing everyone together over there. Look at that. There's his damage boost heat ray. Everyone is grouped in together nice and tight. Everyone is getting hit with some damage. And there is my Hedera from afar getting in some splash damage. There's Gigan hitting that burning. He's going to make it so that burning does not kill our guys on explosion. Right? And there we go. And we, boom, kill the lead. That is how you deal with the Biolante on London, ladies and gentlemen. We lock it down with the Gigan 04. Gigan 04, huge play. Buffing with the Batra. Crazy DPS output, right? We don't have a lot of DPS regularly in the team. You put Batra down with him. You're cooking with gas, all right? You are cooking with gas. So these are my two battles with me. Shorter Whale Wars than normal, but I feel like uh, some of you guys probably like that. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Bye-bye.